known as RTV molding, to make prototypes and production parts from urethane to other thermoset materials. They select this option because it is fast and affordable when producing a few or several hundred parts. Silicone molding is a three-step process. Make a pattern, make a mold, and cast parts. Traditionally, patterns were machined from wood, plastic, or metal. However, this step would take more time than mold making and part casting combined. Using PolyJet as the pattern maker, silicone molds can be ready to cast parts in just one or two days. But before making a pattern, companies also use PolyJet for prototypes during the design process. After making design revisions, the silicone molding process begins. To make cast urethane parts from silicone molds, simply substitute PolyJet patterns. No other changes are needed. Start with a CAD model of the part design and 3D print it with PolyJet. That's all there is to pattern making. Optionally, when castings have high gloss finishes or are clear, sand and polish the PolyJet pattern. To make the silicone mold, pour liquid silicone rubber over the pattern and allow it to cure to become a firm yet flexible mold. Next, cut the silicone mold to remove the pattern. Now it is time to cast the parts. Start by assembling the mold and mixing the urethane material. Then pour the urethane into the mold. For the best result, place the mold in a vacuum chamber to remove any air bubbles from the urethane. Let the mold set until the urethane has cured and then separate the mold and extract the part. Finish the casting by painting or plating to have prototypes, sales samples, or finished goods that look just like products on store shelves. PolyJet does not change the process, it just makes it faster and often less expensive by fixing the bottleneck. Pattern making. 